Hello Capricorn, Elsie here to do your reading for the week ahead, my friends. I feel like I'm running behind on everything. <laughs> <laughs> and then I, I had a, a meditation this morning and I realized that I'm really not behind. I'm right where I'm supposed to be and so are you. So don't worry about running behind. And uh, um, uh, Capricorn, I'm here to do your reading for the week ahead. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Jupiter. If you are brand new, please let me know in the comments. I do like to look through the comments. I like to be in the comments as well. And I'd love to greet you there. And if you are if you are the person who's always clicking and watching and thumbs up and growing this tribe, look y'all, you have a, a bonus read coming this week because you just, you killed it last week. Thank you so much for all of the views and all the ways that you've been loving on me. So we're going to do something a little bit different this time. We are going to uh, do, we're going to do three different hands. We're just going to use tarot and we're just, you know, these three hands may relate to each other. They may not, but we'll find out what's going on for you. As long as you come here with your intuition, you should be able to figure it out, right? Let me uh, talk to you a little bit about what's going on with you. Capricorn, sun, moon, rising, Venus and Jupiter, my earth cousin. I am a Taurus sun. You are grounded like me, my friend. Let's go. Let's take a look here. Tell me about Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to know about the week ahead, please? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. What you need to know is that there is an opportunity that will be arriving here. Something is about to materialize in the 3D if it hasn't already. Maybe you just don't see it yet, but it does feel like it's something small, like a small opportunity. What else do we need to know about Capricorn, please? What's the opportunity? The King of Swords. We have the Knight of Swords. Very interesting energies here. And more swords. Somebody's coming at you, my friend. And it is somebody who I feel is not shy. They're very brave and courageous. This is someone who is going to be fighting to speak with you. Like it feels like, a, you know, the, the knights are fighters, but they're also rescuers. They're also there to protect, right? They're protectors as well. This one's a protector of words, protector of communication. I feel like the King of Swords is here and sending in the knight first to see if you're going to be receptive to whatever they're about to say. Um, the knight is here with the Two of Swords. It feels to me like this could be somebody that you've blocked. Somebody that you've blocked or someone that you have a block about. Um, it could be somebody who's trying to get past your boundaries. Someone who's trying to get past the block. So the King of Swords, of course, is... Um, is uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. And we have the Knight of Swords that is Gemini. And then we have Aquarius energy here in the Two of Swords. So the opportunity I feel that's coming to you is that there is somebody who is an official person or someone who knows a lot of things. Maybe you know this person, maybe you don't. But it's an official person who is like sending in a messenger first to see if you're going to be receptive to whatever they're going to say. It's like it's like the Knight of Swords is coming in to sort of bust open the door, to knock on the door and say the king would like an audience with you. Like, you know what I mean? I'm thinking about it in, in medieval times. It's like this messenger is coming in to tell you that somebody wants to say something, but I don't know if you're ready to hear it. We do have the Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. It is about a new opportunity, a new beginning that's very exciting, but I don't know if you're ready to hear it. You might just tell this knight to go away. Um, and uh, the knight, I feel, is a precursor to the king. I feel like the knight is coming in to deliver a message um, and the message that you get, okay, it feels like that too. Charlie just said the message that somebody gets is like a, a letter or a friend or a person or somebody's going to tell you something about the king. So the king could be someone who's uh, the leader, right? The somewhat Someone who is in legal. It could be something legal for some of you, but it feels like somebody is coming in to tell you, you know what, that decision's being made. Tell me about the King of Swords. What do we need to know about this King of Swords? We have the Hierophant. This person is about truth, morality, standing upright. This person is, is someone who cannot be swayed. They have their own ideas. And uh, we do have the uh, Six of Wands. And then we have the Magician. So it it is good news, I'm going to say. It's good news with the Six of Wands here. It's like this person wants to tell you something that is grounded and moral and it feels like it's exciting because there's you're going to get a lot of attention or this this king wants to get attention like wants to get your attention the magician is here it's it feels like it's something you've manifested that is coming in here it could be a taurus we're talking about as well we do have taurus energy here why would you be blocking this though capricorn why would you be blocking it it might be because it comes in too fast for you it's like a you know, it's it's Knight of Swords, right? And the Knight of Swords is always charging in on places. They don't care if you're ready. They're just charging in on you. And so it feels like you you block this person or say, back your stuff up. I'm not I'm not into it. Tell me why the Two of Swords is here. 
we have the Six of Pentacles and uh, the Four of Cups. So somebody here wants to give you reciprocity. It's like somebody wants to talk to you and you don't want to talk to them. You're like, I don't, I have nothing to say to that person. I have nothing to say. It might be the king. It could be the Hierophant. Uh, it could be Taurus or uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, I have nothing to say to that person. The Six of Pentacles is here. It tells me reciprocity, but the Two of Swords is in front of the Six of Pentacles. It says, no, I'm not giving that person my attention. I'm put, not putting any more energy into this. The Four of Cups is like, you're, you're not in a mood. Like, don't don't press me. I'm not in a mood. <laughs> and uh, the Four of Cups is like, I'm not willing to give you any energy. And I'm not willing to take your energy. It feels like you're, you're sort of annoyed. We have the, the Knight of Wands and we have the Chariot. So this is what you're suspecting. You're suspecting that a, like somebody that maybe you have dated before, possibly, um, that maybe cut you out or said something terrible or horrible or did something bad or it feels like you're you're not about it is what I want to say. And the Knight of Wands and the Chariot tells me somebody's charging in way too fast. Like somebody has the audacity. Like that's what I want to say. Like you're like, this person now has the audacity to come in as quick as they want for the victory. And they're coming in with all this passion, right? This desire with the Knight of Wands. It's also risky and it's also quick. Like it's, it feels like somebody's making a risky decision or you've decided that um, this person is coming in to take a risk to see you. We do have judgment. Ooh, look, Capricorn, I feel like you're going to get a chance to say something to somebody who did you something wrong. This person sees you getting a lot of attention and they're coming to you as the Hierophant. I feel like this person's learned a lesson about how they treated you or how they spoke with you or cutting you out. I feel like they've learned a lesson, but I feel like you keep manifesting them. Like it's almost like the only reason you were manifesting them is so you could tell them what you thought, because it feels like it feels like with the judgment card here that you're like, I'm going to make the decision now. It's not up to you. You have no power over me here. Um, I'm going to block you. And because you blocked, I think that's why they send in the messenger or the friend or somebody that knows you or you have a mutual friend. It feels like that. And this person here, I feel with the with the four of cups, um, you're like, I'm not about it. I, I'm in my own space. Leave me alone. Don't talk to me. I'm not giving you my energy. The Knight of Wands is like, come on. I just want the passion. I'm attracted to you. And you're like the judgment card. You're like, you know what? This is my decision. It's not yours. What's your decision? Your decision is, you know what? I know my worth. Yeah, that's what it is. I know my worth. The star is here. This is a wish fulfillment that's coming in. I'm going to say it is a wish fulfillment. But for me, we've got the Eight of Swords. It's something that you've been thinking about obsessively. And what you think about comes about. And so whether you want to see this person or not, whether you're thinking that they're a scoundrel and horrible and terrible and awful, if that is a manifestation as well, understand. If that's the only thing occupying your mind, then it, that is the manifestation as well. We do have the King of Wands here. I think that this person is going to tell you that they no longer are in it just for the passion, that they've rolled back their, you know, that they've grown up. It feels like, you know, we go from the the Knight of Wands to the King of Wands, somebody's going to try and convince you that they've grown up. But I feel like your decision is, look, I've thought about this long enough, and I feel like you're going to tell this person exactly how you feel about them. How you feel about them just showing up on you here. We've got the Seven of Wands. Keep yourself back. It feels like you've got tight boundaries and you're not letting this person pass the boundary. We've got the Three of Wands. You've been waiting for them to come back. So you can say, you know what? I don't need you. I'm good. I'm, I'm good where I'm at. I don't need you. I've got my mass manifestations here. I've got all of the attention that I need, six of wands, and I don't need you. I'm solid. I'm grounded. I'm, I'm solid and I'm good. This person is going to try and convince you that they've changed, and maybe they have, um, but I feel like that they're trying to push you, like trying to push you into something that you're not about. That's what it feels like. They're they're really coming on very, very strong. <laughs> That's what it feels like here. Tell me about this here. We've got um, uh, Aries. We've got Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. We've got um, more Leo energy. We've got um, Virgo and Pisces energy. We've got Cancer energy, Aquarius. We've got uh, Gemini, Taurus, uh, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius energy. All right. Let's go at another deck. Tell me more about Capricorn. What's coming up in the week ahead, please? Tell me more about Capricorn. What else do we need to know besides this scenario? What else do we need to know about Capricorn? 
tell me about Capricorn. We've got the Five of Wands. So you are, <clears throat> I feel, in the week ahead, there's something here that you're trying to make a decision about. The Five of Wands is about feeling like there's too much competition, and that's why you're holding back. It's also about, um, you know, kind of having a block that stops you from moving forward. It is about indecision. I can't seem to make a decision. And I think that the reason you're not making a decision could be because um, you feel like there's too much competition. Tell me about the competition here. Three of Wands. Three of Swords, and the Two of Pentacles. So I feel like the indecision, the indecision comes from you being hurt before, from having disappointment in the Pentacle world. It's like, I've made decisions before Elsie, and I didn't make the right one. It's like you you had a decision to make in the pentacle world. The three of swords tells me that you didn't make the right decision or it broke your heart. And now something's coming back around that you're going to have to decide. I feel like you are going to get some sort of communication or something might begin to move really quickly here. We've got uh, the five of wands and the three of wands, which is eight. So it feels like something's about to move really quickly here. And I feel like you're worried about making some type of decision. What is the decision? What are you deciding on here, Capricorn? Corn. We have strength, we have the nine of swords, and we have the prince of pentacles, who is the knight in this deck. So I feel like you've been holding back from making a decision. You know that you can, like you know that you can make a decision, make a good decision, but I feel like sometimes you make decisions too quickly. And I feel like right now you're trying to hold back and you're trying to respond rather than react. So the nine of swords tells me that you're worried about the outcome. You've been worried about it, but you're not necessarily taking a step forward to do anything about it. And so the Knight of Swords is kind of the place where you're at. You're holding back. You're in your head. Um, you're in the Eight of Swords here, and you need an answer, right? The, the way this is broken up here is we've got Eight Swords, and then we have the Ninth over here, which tells me that this is kind of the Ace of Swords. It's like you need to make some type of a decision here um, so you can move forward. We have the... Um, the Prince of Pentacles, who is the Knight. The, the interesting thing about this particular depiction is that this Knight of Pentacles has the three pentacles above the head. So it does feel like it is a decision that I feel like you don't want to make in haste, that you're being very patient, being very careful, making sure you've crossed all the T's, dotted all the I's, you know, making, making sure everything is in place. I'm looking at uh, six pentacles um, on these flowers here. Nine pentacles. Okay, so it's a really big decision. I feel like you will get to a place of confidence. We've got nine pentacles showing up on the Knight of Pentacle here. And so it does feel like... I think you have to look at it in a way that reminds you that you're not in it alone. That there are other people that you can speak with that will collaborate or cooperate with you, work on your team, be on your side. So I want to say that the reason that you've been moving so slowly is because I feel like you're taking you're taking energy from this one and that one. Like people are giving you their opinions, telling you what to do. And I feel like you're taking it all in. You're not saying, no, get out of my life. You're taking it all in. Six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. And I feel like you're, you're going slow and you're being patient because you want to make a, a decision that you're confident about. What is the decision, please? What is the decision? To go on some sort of a new um, a new adventure here. I, I feel like you are, the reason that you're holding back and that you're scared, Capricorn, is that you feel like you won't make the right decision. You feel like you'll look like a fool if you don't make the right decision. And I say take every opportunity that you can find to fall down and skin your knees. It's the only way you're going to learn. And the fool is a leap of faith right? You're like, you're giving it to the universe and saying, is this something that I should do? Um, the fool is Aries energy. It's the beginning of something because Aries is the first of the zodiac, right? It's the beginning of something um, that I feel is going to make you really solid, um, going to give you a lot of opportunity. It's going to make you feel more confident. We do have the five of swords, we have the Four of Swords and we have the Sun. So it does look like here that there is, there's some healing that needs to be done here because there's some worry and the feeling of lack. 
It feels like you feel if you move forward that it might be something that you end up not really liking. Yeah, it's all up in your head though, right? It's eight swords. Sorry, nine swords. Five and four is nine. And we have the nine swords here. It's worry. I feel like you're going to have a breakthrough though, right? I feel like you're going to have a breakthrough. The ace of swords is on the bottom of the deck. And uh, the decision you're making is 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 a big one. It feels like it could be a legal decision for some of you. It could be whether or not to sue somebody. <laughs> it could be whether or not to speak with somebody, whether or not to say the things that are actually on my mind. I feel like you're going to have the answer by the week ahead here. And it's you're going to go at it with this, again, this pentacle energy here. And that's you. That's your energy, right? The queen of pentacles is um, someone who is Capricorn. So I feel like you are going to make a very grounded, stable decision that is best for you. Um, and I feel like it's going to work out for you. You end up being stable at the end of this decision. You're going to have a breakthrough. It's going to get you out of the nine of swords and I feel like you need to make a decision about whether or not you're keeping something or cutting something out. It could be that and I feel like you don't want to look like a fool and get rid of something that you thought you may have needed after all. We've got the hanged man but you're going to hang there and wait. It's okay. It's okay. The hanged man is not a bad place to be. It's surrender. It's figuring it out. It's checking with your intuition. And I feel like it's it's going to work out in, in the way that it's supposed to work out, which I feel is in the benefit of you. Um, it still isn't telling me what this specific thing is, um, but it feels like it is some sort of a new beginning. And it doesn't feel like it's a love beginning. It feels like it's a new beginning in the pentacle world that you've manifested. Um, this is the Eight of Cups and the Justice. So it's like you're getting justice in a situation where somebody walked away or someone disconnected from you. This person could be coming back in, or maybe you've decided that even though they're coming back in, that you're taking this leap of faith and they can kick rocks. Because you're, you're showing up here as the King of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. It feels like you're you're going to make some sort of decision. This king has the, the sword in the air, which means it's a big deal. I need to make this decision to cut something out. We do have ten swords here, by the way. We have the five and the four and the one in the hand of the king, which is ten. So a situation is coming to an end. I feel like you are getting justice here. The truth is about to come out about something, and that's why you're going to be able to begin again. And it feels like you've manifested... Um, You've manifested, I feel, uh, not settling. Uh, you've decided that you're not settling, that you're moving forward. You're going to get your justice by going out on this, this fool's journey. It's like the beginning of a new chapter for you. And you've decided to act in a different way than you ever did uh, by cutting people out and having realizations because you have been brave enough to be in the hanged man energy. All right. We've got Pisces, we've got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra, um, we've got uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, we've got Leo, Aries, more Aries, Virgo, uh, Leo, there we go. All right, last hand, let's find out what else is going on for you. Tell me about Capricorn, please. What else does Capricorn need to know, please? What's the most important thing that Capricorn needs to know for the week ahead, please? Tell me what Capricorn needs to know for the week ahead. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. There is um, a King of Cups here. Why is the King of Cups here? Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Why is the King of Cups showing up first? I think you're showing me your loving side, but tell me why the King is showing up here. So you're confused about this. It's confused emotions. The star is in the reverse, which tells me that you're, you're feeling overwhelmed or confused about something that it feels like you want to heal. Maybe it is about the King of Cups. It could be. It could be about this King of Cups. could be about the emperor okay so i feel like for some of you that you have been or maybe that you are that you have big feelings about the emperor it could be that um big feelings about the emperor and you you're starting to lose hope that you feel like you're not going to find your emperor your emperor is not going to find you i want to say the emperor is showing up as the back being turned to the to the star in reverse so there's some sort of wish fulfillment going on here that you feel is not arriving and um I feel like this has to do with love. I feel like you you want to fall in love, but it feels like you're losing hope 
it's a very confusing and overwhelming time. Why is the emperor here? Who is this? The emperor is Aries, by the way. Ooh, the emperor is your soulmate. The emperor is your soulmate. And I'm going to say if you are waiting for an emperor, the emperor is Aries, but of course when the king is here, all of the, all of, or when the emperor is here, all the kings are here as well because all of the wisdom that the emperor has. Um, I want to say that <clears throat> this emperor identifies you or sees you as, as the soulmate. Um, and we have to wait for the emperor to step forward. The king of wands gets involved when we have to feel inspired to move forward. So the emperor is not going to go forward just to conquer. Sometimes they will, but it does depend on the situation. The emperor is the someone who can who can be very kind of bossy. They can be bossed up, but they can be used to getting their own way. And uh, I feel like this person is waiting to feel inspired to, to do something that has to do with a manifestation. This person is trying to bring something from the 5D to the 3D. And it feels like they have their back to um, these emotions. They it feels like they have their back to your energy uh, because they haven't decided if they're coming forward. Why are you losing hope? Or maybe the emperor is losing hope. Maybe you are the emperor. Take it as it resonates, right? It's a general reading and it's a lot of energies. Tell me about this um, losing hope here. Why is the star in the reviews in the reverse? Somebody either feels like their manifestation is not arriving or isn't going to come in. They don't believe it. Or, and they're losing hope. That's what it feels like. So somebody wants communication. Look, I feel like you, you, I feel like there is excitement coming to you. I want to say there is an exciting new path that's opening here. A, a path that you felt you would never see. It would never happen. The emperor is, doesn't, in, doesn't have any interest in me. Um, but we do have the devil here. We have the devil and we have the hanged man energy. This is the cynic that you are. <laughs> I always see that this Capricorn energy, the devil, is like you being cynical. And I think cynicism is so important because we can't believe everything as it shows up all of the time. We're going to crash and burn. We have to have some cynicism. Cynicism in love, cynicism in your work, cynicism in tarot. There always must be some type of cynicism, right? And so I feel like the devil, to me, isn't necessarily bad news at this point. I feel like whatever shows up is exciting for you, and you thought it would never show up, but you are very cynical, and when it does show up, it feels like this hanged man energy is what takes over. You're like, I really got to look at this. I got to check within me. Is this the right thing? It's like this finally showed up, and you you don't know if you even want it anymore. Um, this emperor thinks that they are your soulmate. And um, they don't do anything unless they're inspired to do so. So I feel like this emperor is waiting for inspiration um, to move forward to this wish fulfillment. This person is somebody who, hmm, I just want to say that, you know, the emperor feels like it's kind of my way or the highway with the emperor, right? They're used to getting what they want because they're the boss of everything, right? The emperor is is ruling the empire, which means they're ruling all the kingdoms along with the kings and the queens. So this person is used to being the top dog, making all the decisions, and they're used to getting what they want. So they're feeling like they're, I'm going to go get my soulmate when, when I feel inspired to do so. But I want to say that this energy here is be careful because this person might want to try and manipulate you into passion, manipulate you into following their passion and abandoning your own. Um, be careful with that because it is somebody who is used to talking people into and out of things. Tell me more about this emperor here. And maybe I'm just being totally erring on the side of caution for you, but I feel like you shouldn't accept this emperor when they show up. Don't accept them at face value. Go within. Talk to yourself. Talk to the universe. Um, you know, hang there as long as you have to with your cynicism to figure out what it is that you want to do because this is a really exciting thing that's happening here. I feel like you thought it was never going to happen and you were feeling very emotional, overwhelmed and confused about why it wasn't showing up if you were getting all the signs. Maybe you're getting a bunch of signs and you knew this was going to show up but your gut was telling you it wasn't. What else do we need to know about the emperor please? What we need to know about the emperor is that this person um it has been watching you. I feel like they've been watching you have success, Capricorn. And uh, they've been watching you struggle, watching your successes, watching you get a lot of attention. And they also see that you are by yourself, not willing to share your romantic energy with anyone. That's why the emperor is coming in. They're coming in because they feel that that the that you are the wish fulfillment or the happiness in romance that, that they've been looking for. That's what it feels like here. Yeah, they're looking for a commitment. So for some of you, you actually know this person already. 
Hang on. All right. Let's get a little bit of energy here and I'll let you go. You are going to get balance through perseverance, but I feel like there's a little bit of fear that you're dealing with, and that's the apprehension here of this uh, star in reverse. We have, I realize that I'm testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. Be cynical. Uh, perseverance and balance. What you are not willing to give up is your balance. So you've persevered up to here by yourself. You're not willing to give up the balance as I know I can do whatever I set my mind to. So you're really in this place of taking care of you, being focused on you, and then all of a sudden the emperor shows up. I'm just going to say. All right, I'm going to go for now. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you guys. I'm going to go for now, but I'll be back because I'm always back. Love you. Bye-bye.